Let's begin. Uh, first, last night and yesterday. Pretty good night's sleep. Eh, usual, you know, up around uh, half an hour to an hour before the alarm went off. But not worrying, just laying there with uh, idle thoughts. Uh, I seem to be better able now to, uh, to not let my bad thoughts um, ambush me. And by bad thoughts, I mean worry. I, as recently as two weeks ago, so basically finishing off 2022, I would be going into the uh, deep morning hours, waking up, worrying about the day's problems to come, meetings, uh, uh, issues, <clears throat> agendas to write, you know, all the stuff, email, important emails that have to get out. Like this morning, as soon as I get done this morning, I do have, uh, as soon as I start work this morning, I have a really important email to write. I would have been worrying about the composition of that email, the timing, the reaction of the people that will receive it. Instead, because I forecasted, I, 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 instead of fretting, I put up a mental scenario of, of imagining the email being written, um, <clears throat> this important email being written in a timely, complete, thorough fashion, which I know I'm capable of doing getting it out uh, to the right audience. Uh, and uh, the reaction be, it will be forthcoming in a reasonable manner. Now, bullseye aim principle is one of my principles that says that, you know, it's rare that you hit the mark square. Some parts of that are not going to be accurate. But <clears throat> my, my internal man <laughs> seemed to be satisfied with that forecast. You know, it's like a coming up on the, the captain coming up on deck and saying, so, you know, first officer, what's the plan for today? Uh, you know, how are we going to steer this ship uh, out of the uh, out of the port and into the open sea? Well, without having a, the first the, or the pilot actually uh, laying that out, uh, we're left to imagine all the worst, right? We're going to back the ship out and bang into the, the wharf or hit another ship or uh, you know, get the propellers spinning too quickly and create a wake that's not allowed and invoke a fine, or we're gonna, you know, have you know, you know, obstacles with other ships in the in the harbor as we move out, et cetera, et cetera. We swells as we go out, get on the wrong course. <clears throat> that's what the mind does. It just frets about all this stuff. But instead, now, <clears throat> as soon as the issue comes up, I imagine the pilot, you know stepping briskly to the captain and saying, uh, Sir, well, we have the uh, engine room manned and ready to go. Uh, the uh, uh, j people are up here on the deck ready to man the controls, and I've got the uh, plan charted out. I've done this uh, uh, dozens of, you know, hundreds of times. I'm a p pilot, after all, in this harbor. The uh, pilot retrieval crew will be meeting us a mile out to sea after we clear all the uh, inherent obstacles. Um, I will be taking us back uh, at uh, X number of knots or whatever, how the nautical terms they use, backing us, turning us about. We have plenty of room. This, this uh, harbor here is rated, this portion of the harbor is rated for ships of XL size, and we are simply a large size. We can handle this no problem with room to spare. You need not worry. We'll then be proceeding now to uh, navigating three points of turn as we, as we proceed before heading into open sea. <clears throat> rendezvousing with the pilot ship, I would disembark at that point and hand operations over to the first, your first officer. Now the captain, the little guy inside me that worries, has got nothing left to do at that point, right? I mean, even if a lot of that is made up, <laughs> it's made up based on experience, right? So, I mean, I've done, I've done emails, hundreds and thousands of emails, uh, hundreds if not thousands, of, I mean, certainly thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of emails, and I've done, I've done many, many hundreds, of do if not <laughs> dozens, if not hundreds of critical emails like I need to write this morning. I know how to do this. I know who the audience is. I know all these things. It's the particulars are, are, are not important. It's the essential points of operation that are the key elements. And when I wake up at, uh, you know, an hour before the alarm at three o'clock in the morning, and my mind says, what about that email? And I say, well, haul, stop, stop fretting about it. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to sit down at the at the computer. We're going to take a look at the notes from yesterday's meeting where this action item came out. I'll re re relay out. I'll note out the things that need to be done. I'll compose a draft, a draft of the email. I'll then uh, have a meeting with the uh, uh, 
uh, the supervisor in charge of this element. We'll go over it together, review, then we'll compose the email, we'll put the email contents into the message together, we'll uh, note the who needs to be um, the primary recipient of this email, uh, who else needs to be in the, in the, in the to line, who, else, who needs to be in the CC line, and then we'll send it. Then we'll wait for a response. That's no different than the, the pilot telling the captain how, how the ship's going to leave the harbor. Then my mind doesn't worry. And it's the funniest thing because I, I literally stop worrying. And instead, but it doesn't, I still stay awake, but I just sit there and listen to the, <laughs> what I do now. And this is ever so pleasant. Instead of fretting, I sit there and I listen to the sound of the waves coming through the window. Because we live uh, here at the beach, so I can, I keep the window cracked open near my head for the fresh air, the fresh salty sea air. And uh, I listen to the sea. And I and I I gauge the pulse of the of the of the waves in the night. You can tell you can tell what they're doing by their sound, whether they're peeling or crashing, or when a when a wholesale set comes sweeping through, and then, and then the background hiss and hiss and and uh, hiss and is it a what is it? It's a hiss, not a hiss and a gurgle. It's a hiss and hiss and buzz of uh, not really a buzz, just a hiss of the uh, foam, just everywhere it sounds like the background of the stars that's how I'm dealing with these these days Michael that one's for you because you were the you had asked me about that in a comment on uh, on uh, I think that was a nine month old comment that I finally cut around to I'm sorry I'm catching up on all my comments on YouTube and you had asked about that and I uh, thought you asked if you, if you don't keep yeah you you'd ask share what you learn Kurt this is what I learned and it and it works now I need to find a way to weave this into the good life. I'm thinking, well, I've already got it kind of glommed on to uh, the second to last principle. The um, uh, <clears throat> nothing is enough. It just feels like the right place. Although I can't find a way to fit in. It's like a puzzle piece that, you know, it looks like it really belongs there. The colors are right and everything, but the, it looks like the jigsaw wasn't quite right. You just kind of want to force it in. That's how it feels, trying to put these... This, um, this self-disciplined thinking in there. And probably it doesn't belong here. I need to adjust things wholesale. But that's what this whole exercise is for. That's what being responsible for our own creed is all about. We have to do the hard work, right? We can't rely on anyone else to do it for us. Well, that's that.